sometimes when God wants to work in our lives, he starts by giving us an idea. And it's kind of like being given a piece of a puzzle. Now the problem is that this is all we see, right? This is the scope of our understanding. And God is not going to show you the big picture. And it's hard to comprehend the extent of God's plan in comparison to our limited understanding. And here's the thing, God's not going to show you the big picture. He's giving you something, right? The idea, right? The small idea. And you have to show that you are faithful with it. And from there, as you start working on the idea, then you're going to get more pieces of this puzzle. And the picture is going to start to take shape. In this case, it was a sermon that I wrote called Preparing for Greatness. So it's the story of David, right? We've all heard the story, except the emphasis was on that God prepared David for Goliath by having him face trials in his life. So then I did the lesson with the youth, and the next question was, how do we teach this to the younger kids? So I thought, okay, how about we turn it into a board game, right? So something like this. David starts here, works his way through, and then that's how they learn the story, right? So this was back in 2012. Um, at the time, I was doing website development part-time, and that's how I got to know Carla Brink. So I said, I'm doing a project with the youth. We want to make a board game, and she said she'd help with the artwork, right? And that's how we got the illustrations. So the board game idea is what I call a misfire. It's you have an idea and you try it out, but it just doesn't seem to work for whatever reason. And I have a folder in my PC where I store my misfires. So fast forward to 2019, October, I'm going through the misfire folder. I'm just looking for something else. I come across the illustrations and I'm like, you know what? Let's make a children's book. So I send an email to the church members saying, that for our next media project we're going to do a children's book who would like to take part and Carl and Vani were keen so they um to Carl and Vani they are, are very creative right they Vani is an, an educator she works with kids daily uh, Carl good singer he's he's been in the music department he's written uh, a worship song right so let me put it into perspective what started out as an aha moment, right, while I'm reading the word and realizing that God had prepared David by having him face a lion and face a bear um, prior to meeting Goliath led to a sermon which led to the illustrations, which led to the birth of this book, right, and two kingdom authors. And all of this happened in God's timing, not ours. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story behind preparing for greatness.